Hello everybody, Guitar Man 3 yt here, and today I get to unbox my brand new amp that I've been waiting for since January. It's a Marshall Origin 50C combo amp, and I ordered this thing at the beginning of January. At first I ordered a used one, and if you've been watching my channel, you know that that one came in busted, completely cracked all the way to where the electronics and everything the tubes were just falling down in the thing i took it back they ordered me another used one and it came in cracked too it wasn't near as bad but it was still cracked so then they, i decided to order a brand new one which then they put on back order because they were having problems getting them shipped overseas from uk or wherever the the marshals are coming from and long story short, here it is, April the 4th, and I finally got it. So we're going to cut this sucker open and check it out. So far, so good. I like the way they packed it with these big old styrofoam blocks. All right. Cabinet looks good. No cracks. All right. Good. And get a little bit out of there and blow it out. Yeah. There she is. Brand spanking new. Delivered. In excellent condition. That's just how I want it. And just like any Marshall, it is heavy. Also comes with a two-way two-way switch with LED for origin panel. Nicely packaged in this box. Right, in that box is power cord, of course. Here's the foot switch. got boost and the effects loop and they both have red LEDs on them and it hooks up with a quarter inch which is cool and also in the box we have the five year limited warranty from Marshall so hope we never have to use that. Origin 20 and 50. All right. Here's some up close shots of it. Got the nice looking uh, 70s blues breaker grill cloth with gold piping. It's pretty cool. Love the Marshall logo. Tolex is nice looking. Vents up here for the tubes. Tim Marshall, the father of loud. Got that right. It's 
One thing about marshals, they are loud. Got the variable power here for low. I think it's like one watt. Mid's like 10 watts, I think. And then the high is 50. Don't quote me on that. I hadn't checked to see if that's exactly right yet, but it's something like that. It comes shipped with all the knobs down on zero. Spine with me. Got the shiny gold. I don't know if it's aluminum or steel. Handle the gold. It's just a really good looking amp. I love the way the old blues breakers looked. And I know this amp's not going to have very much distortion just plugging right into it. So I bought it as a, um, what do you call it? A pedal platform, that's what they call it. Yeah, I, I've been buying, I've been stocking up on pedals since while I've been waiting on this amp. I've bought a whole crap load of pedals, which I'll have a video about all those pretty soon. Let's see, there's not a whole lot you can see on the back. They've got everything closed in speakers closed in so give it a nice tight sound and all the controls are way up in here where you can't really see them need a daggum <laughs> need a mirror to put right here to be able to see what you're doing but it's basically it's basically a Marshall head you look at it like this that's the Marshall head because the tubes go sideways in there. That's what why these vents are right there. And then all the controls are on the back. So they basically just took a Marshall head, put it in a different cabinet. Pretty cool. And then I have that other cabinet that I'm gonna make with new speakers. Okay, so I, I turned it to where we can see what's going on here. Here's the internal speaker plugged into the 16 ohm jack. You have the option of 8 ohm, or you can run two 16 ohm cabinets. Got a direct out, which is quarter inch, the foot switch, and the fax loop. And there's where your power cord plugs in. And that's it. Pretty basic amp and pretty basic sound on its own. But I can't wait to hook up all my pedals to it. And I think I might order some corners to put on here. It's already got a little rough spot right there on the corner. But Marshall makes some back corners that are flat on the back that fit right there. I'm gonna get corners. I don't know what they call those corner pieces, corner guards. But I think that would protect it better. I'd feel better if I had corners on there. And you know me, I don't ever keep anything exactly the way it is. Always got to do something to it. So yes, I will add the corners on there, and maybe some wheels if it needs it. It's not too heavy. But it'd be nice to roll it around. But it's going to be sitting on top of that other cabinet too when I get it. All right. Well, there's the review. Now, there are way too many videos of how this amp sounds. A lot of people have done videos on it. And um, I just don't feel it'd be necessary to do a video of how it sounds just by itself. I'm going to wait till I get all my pedals put on my new pedal board and get all that hooked up. And then I will play a bunch of demos using all the different pedals. I've got two boxes full of all kinds of pedals. There's the power supply. Sonic cake noise gate. Got a real Ibanez tube screamer. Remember 
where some of these are. I just started ordering. Yeah, Flander. So What Flander by Kayleen. Oh, and I got this too. Can't wait to try this. It's a speaker soak. So I can plug the uh, turn the amp up, keep the amp on full on 50 watts, crank it, and turn the volume down. I still get the cranked volume. That's supposed to work like that. I got a Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Where do they go? This thing. It's a Univibe pedal. And we got a Unibide pedal for that. I'm excited about this looker right here. This is a reverb delay pedal, pock bird reverb delay. Okay. And my wife bought me this as a present, and that was really cool because I probably wouldn't have ever spent that much on a phaser pedal, but she thought it was cool and she knows how much I love Eddie Van Halen. See my Eddie Van Halen guitars with her. <laughs> And so she bought that for me. I can't wait to hook it up and see how it sounds. And then I got this one right here, which is... Oh, the Demon. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. This is a... Uh, this is the Friedman. Friedman Distortion. It's supposed to be just like the Friedman Distortion pedal, which sounds really good from what I've heard of the re of the demos. Got a bunch more chords. And I made the new new pedal board. And I'm probably gonna use my old pedal board too with all these pedals. I'm just gonna take two, both of them probably. So anyway, yeah when I get all those hooked up to my pedal board then I will do several demos of all probably do a demo of each effect. So stay tuned. Sometime in the near future, I'm going to have all those pedals hooked up. We're kind of in the process of trying to sell the house and move. So I'm packing, having to pack and then keep out stuff that I don't want to pack. So it's kind of a hassle right now to get videos done, but I'm trying my best. I'm glad my amp came in now. I do want to try it out. So I will hook up some effect pedals and do a demo for those here pretty soon. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that too. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.